Hello and welcome to Fulton Street Beats. There's a lot of you out there who took interest in the Amazon Basics. Well, I use them as studio monitors, but they're a powered bookshelf speaker. And the reason I use them as studio monitors is because they produce a very, very flat sound. And they serve my needs very, very well. And you can adjust the bass and treble. Now, they're a limited speaker. And what do I mean by that? Limited on connections in the back. They simply have one 3.5 aux jack and a digital optical. I got asked a question. Can you run an amplifier with these? Well, yes and no. You really can't run a powered amplifier with these because everybody, you know, power to power, something's going to blow up. But generally rule of thumb is one watt or less, yes, you can. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you take your computer output jack, which is a 3.5, and you run it to these, yes, it's fine. If you use your phone speaker jack, yes, you can. That's fine. But we're talking considerably low power because the speakers are doing the amplifying. So rule of thumb, power to power. Don't do it. Now, if you're running a really low wattage tube amp or headphones, you can. Anything above a watt is not good. And generally, you want to stay well below one watt. So I hope that answers that question for a powered speaker. Um, any active speaker, you, you just don't want to do that. You can run your DAC. Um, you want to use your use your unbalanced lines, and of course you're going to use your RCA unbalanced lines, and you're going to use it, and you're still going to have to reduce it, of course, to your 3.5 for input. Now these are Bluetooth, also, and I haven't had one issue with the Bluetooth. They do work great, so keep that in your in the back of your mind. Now. Amazon was all over the place with prices with these things. I got mine for 50 bucks. I got my second pair for 124. Then they jumped up to close to 140, and now I believe they're out of stock. But Amazon Basics has another pair, and they're also an active speaker. They're claiming the same frequency response. And let me tell you first, before anybody says it doesn't do this frequency response, it does. I did an audio sweep. I tested the audio sweep, and it did a smooth sweep for the human ear. And if you guys can't, if you think that your speaker's not producing this, sometimes your hearing is not as good as you think it is. My hearing and my microphones could pick up the entire sweep from 20,000 hertz all the way up, or I'm sorry, yeah, 20 hertz all the way up to 20,000 kilohertz. The entire range, I picked up every bit of it with no, no muddiness, no drop-offs, no extreme peaking, anywheres in between. It was a smooth sweep, so it does what it claims to do. Now, for those of you who are expecting a ton of bass from these, you're simply not going to get it. It's outside the realm of a five and a quarter inch driver. Five and a quarter inch driver is not going to give you extreme bass. But what this does is reproduce very clear bass. And that's what these are designed to do. Now, it is possible to run a subwoofer with these. So keep that in mind. And if you do, be prepared for an amazing experience. Me, I don't have no need for it because I'm using them as studio monitors. And I keep everything set flat. So the setting out of the box, when you plug these in, it's pretty flat. Which is actually still very pleasing. And that's the whole reason why I wanted them as a studio monitor. Because it's flat, but it's detailed. And when I'm doing any editing or mixing, that's how I want it. So these really served my purpose. The only downfall, like I said, is the lack of jacks in the back for hookups. Now, back to the Amazon base. I believe they're sold out now. Amazon went crazy with their prices. They were up and down and up and down. And when I say crazy, they never exceeded what they're worth. That's for sure. Because I got rid of a pair of JBL's Mark 3s 
that went up on me. And these things simply blow them out of the water. There was, those were my old studio monitors. Finally went up. I bought these. It's not even a comparison when it comes to my editing now. So, and they also have, and it's kind of a three-star review, but there's only four ratings. And I take ratings on Amazon with a grain of salt. Because really, people expect a lot for what they're paying, number one. Number two, they don't know anything about what they're getting or what it's supposed to do. So when you tell somebody that the range is 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz, they don't even understand what that means. They don't understand even if it was in that range, if it muddies up anywhere in between. It's not really a good speaker if it's not producing clean sound. So clean sound, and people pay too much attention to wattage. But let's get to the watts. I'm not even going to pretend that I even looked up what the, what the uh, actual RMS is. But they're rated at 40 watts apiece. 80 watts total. I cannot get these with, with clean power, which the amp obviously produces, and a good source, which means a clean audio source, whatever I'm running into it. I cannot get these speakers to distort. They're simply beautiful and articulate. They're not over-articulate, where you're hearing nuances you should not hear. And they're not under-articulate, where you're missing things. They're the perfect combination. And that's my opinion on the pair that I have. However, your results may vary. You may be so used to hearing music in a certain way through a system that you have, that when you hear it through a system that produces a speaker that produces it properly, that you won't like it. And that's because when we adjust things to suit our needs, of course, some of the best sounds we get are through headphones. But many people wouldn't be happy with a studio monitor headphone simply because it doesn't hide any mistakes. And with a pair of Regular headphones, usually the bass is, well, overdriven and thumps things up a bit. And it's really not how it was meant to be, but that's how you like to listen to it. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's fantastic. I do the same thing. The best test after we do any mixing is going into our car and listening to it. So in the car, our car produces sounds because it's an environment that we're used to sitting in and it produces sounds and we try to. Make it appeal to us. So these Amazon basic bookshelf speakers are articulate. And generally, you will hear things that you didn't hear before, just not maybe the way you thought you were going to hear them. These new ones, and I say new, they're not new. They come out about the same time as the ones back here. And don't ask me the model number because they're a weird model number. But what I tell, will tell you is the other ones are... Let me give you an idea what they are. So if somebody out there wants to, I'm not going to pick any of these up because I have two pairs of speakers already. But if anybody does, the model number for the second pair that they, they have is R28BTUS. And they are an active bookshelf speaker. And very similar, very, um, very similar specs. Not as heavy, so I don't expect, expect the build quality to be the same. Because these are 13.5 pounds. Whereas these things come in at over 23 pounds for the pair. Now the other ones on Amazon, they have the base port in the front. And that's probably a pretty good thing. And I have seen, I think, one person take these apart on YouTube. and. They got a, a big size magnet on the driver. Now, do they use the same drivers? I don't know. Do they use the same one as Tweeter? I don't know. But they appear to be decent. They just, and the price is up there too. It's $131.11. Well, I definitely rather pay that price for these with the heavier build quality. They're just a more stout speaker. 
So what's going on with these speakers? I have no idea. Apparently they're not available now. I'm looking here and they're just not out there. I don't see them any place other than the other Amazon basics. And I'm going to look at the ratings for these this other one, even though they really don't mean a lot to me. And this is in the Amazon store. It says the speaker's sound quality is okay, but it but bass is very low and high range doesn't seem to be great, but the mid was fine. So I think they're once again not thinking about what these speakers are for and what they really do. And then the other one says decent sound, but major standby mode problem. So I'm not sure what that means other than your standby mode. If you don't use it for a while, it shuts down on you. And yes, mine do, do too. Um, unfortunately, we live in a world where they want to control everything. And you use too much power, things shut down. My Roland VAD306 drum kit over here shuts down on me when I don't use it for a while. But my settings remain the same when I turn it back on, as do these speakers. So if you want to leave them on all day, that's not going to happen. It's going to shut down on you. Is there a workaround? I don't think so. I don't know. But my opinion on the speakers, they're outstanding. I got one person that says, and this is the other pair, it says buzzy trash speakers. They have tiny quality. I don't know what that even means. And after two days, they started to buzz at certain frequencies. So you have to ask yourself, and I'm not saying they did, but did they run power to it? And sometimes you can tell the way they, they articulate themselves that they really don't, they're not sure about what they're really even doing. So I don't know. Maybe I'll buy a pair. Maybe I will just to test them. Because I'm having a feeling that they're using the exact same drivers and tweeters and these ones and just varying cabinet design. That's what I believe, but I'm not sure. But as far as these puppies go back here, these get use every day. And when I say every day, they have been on since I've had them, which has not been a long time. But they're on, wow, probably 12, 13, 14 hours a day in the studio. And they have not given me not one hiccup. And I'm pleased with them. And I don't fuss every time I turn them on. I know what they do. I don't expect them to, to do more than what they do. But what they do, they do well. And if any speaker went up, especially with this cabinet design, i just go to mono price, get a monolith driver, tweeter, whatever, and put in them. Would I, if I had a monolith sitting right here to put in the cabinets, I wouldn't do it because these drivers produce such good sound. And it's a nice blend. It's not just the driver, it's the way the tweeter blends with the driver. Um, cabinet design seems to be very good. I don't think it's a spectacular design by any means, but it's a stout, heavy cabinet that really do the trick. So if you're looking for something with a lot of connections, move on. It's not for you. If you're looking for something that's, well, easy to use and good for, well, for reproducing sound without over expectations of bass reproduction, then these are for you. If you're expecting huge amounts of bass, no speaker with a five and a half inch driver, or five and a quarter, I'm sorry is going to fit that bill for you. It's simply not, unless it's full of weird amp effects to trick the human ear. These aren't like that. This sound reproduction is true to form, and I think you'll find that, and I think that most people who are getting these, as of the positive reviews of these, are finding that out. Now, that's not to say that there might, might be a, a bad apple in the bent bunch or there may be a quality control issue here or there. We get that with anything. But keep in mind, these speakers started at 50 bucks, went up to about 140 
and are still better sounding and better built than my, well, $360 JBL MK3s. So that's the reality of it, at least with the pair I have. And it seems that most of you out there are having the same results. And I will tell you, breaking these speakers in is not a myth. Break them in. They sound better every day. And that's just something. If you guys want to look into that, there's plenty of information out there online for that proper way of doing it. My methods are totally different than most people's. I don't give them out because, well, I don't want to be responsible if something ever did happen. But thank you guys for watching Fulton Street Beats. And I hope these become available again for those of you who, who want them. And if not, if you guys do pick up this other pair that I mentioned, the other bookshelf active speaker, because they have a pair that's not active. If you do pick up an active pair and you test it, even if you don't do a video of it, drop it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think, because I'm very curious myself if these were a one-hit wonder or Amazon is really working with a speaker company that's capable of producing really nice sound at a really budget price. Thanks for watching Fulton Street Beats, guys. Please don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell for all of the cool upcoming videos and reviews that we have, as well as cool, as cool drum covers and a lot of fun stuff that we do here. And if you're interested in guitars, we do that too. Bass guitars, guitars, almost everything. Thanks again, guys. Be kind to one another.